Hi everyone, John the Bee Man Saunders here again. I'm just going to do uh, an inspection in the hives. Uh, I thought I'd just show you my way of lighting the smoker. Um, here we go then. I've got all the, all the stuff here. I've got, I've got some cardboard here, which is um, just cardboard with no glue in it and no paint. A bit of paper. And I've been to the woods and I've got some of this um, rotten wood. You can squeeze this rotten wood, it's dry, you can break it up in your hands quite easy. Like that, just to show you. Look, so so rotten, a bit of moss, all, the, all this. So I'll start off by um, lighting the smoker with just the paper. Once the paper's going, then I'll put a bit of cardboard on. We're keeping the lid open, keep it. You can hear it like a steam, a steam engine. It's got plenty of heat in it at the minute, which is catching the cardboard light nicely. We we'll just carry on like that with the cardboard. Put some rotten wood on top of the cardboard, like that, push it in. You can do that with your hive tool, push it in instead of your hands. But you know, the rotten wood will push in like that, keep smoking. You've got a nice bit, you can put a bit of um, moss or rotten, rotten, whatever you got from the woods, you know, that's what I do. You get pine needles, you can do. And, Get that going nicely now. It's got a nice bit of fire to it now. A couple more bits like that. Then what I do is I'll get some grass or some leaves. The grass best ready, green grass, and just put on the top. A bit of green grass on the top like that. Close it up. That green grass just stops any sparks coming out onto the bees. Now we can let that just cool down now. We we'll feel the heat. Eventually you just have cool smoke with no heat there. So that that's what a good thing to do is get a nice big pile of this rotten wood like that and you've always got fuel for your smoker and that's how to light a smoker. Easy as anything, but of course, you know, this is my trusty smoker. I have shown this on other videos, quite an old one, but really good for the air flow from here into the bottom, which really does, if you've got a good seal on the top, you know, it keeps going, it's great. Off to the bees now then. There we are, there's my four hives that seem to be doing quite well. We've all got supers on. We'll have a look through to see if we've got any, add any more supers. Um, the far end one seems to be quite busy and the one next to it, which is C and D, I'll mark them with the sign on the top, A, B, C and D, and keep notes. But like always, when you come to April, I tend to forget something. So I forgot my pen and paper, so I've got to try and remember it in me. Um, not so good mine, so I'm not going to go all the way back for pen and paper now. But that's uh, a lesson you learn. Good to have a little list before you come up to your AP what to bring. So we'll open up one or two hives here and see how we're getting on then. There's a lot of bees in this hive. Give a little bit of smoke like that at the entrance. We trust the smoker here again. <coughs> Let's have a look what's going on. Put the roof to one side. Back open the lid. A bit of smoke in there. I don't think they're... I'm sure they won't be doing a lot to it. Right, 
put the lid to one side, lift the super up off there. I didn't think they'd be doing much with it, look. They're not. They haven't even gone up there yet, so that's alright. It's still got to check them, so. I've got the queen scooter on there. Just give them a little bit of smoke. The reason I didn't think they'd be doing anything was because this was the second box I put on. It was a single blue box, this is uh, now a double, so they've been busy uh, doing that. There's no queen on there. No, 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 but there is some drones though. We've got no queen, but we've got quite a few drones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's quite a lot of drones on that. There's no queen. Put that down there. Get out of the way. Uh, give them a little bit smoky. This this hive's normally quite quite gentle. I'll go a bit slowly and have a look. And that's this dummy board out the way. That. Just a dumb board, piece of wood, a thin bit of wood, give you space to get to the next frame. So it's called a dummy board. And uh, here we are, have a look onto the first frame of the top blue box. This is, as I say, it was a single now made into a double. And they've drawn that out nicely. You can see on um, one of my other videos where I um, put this box on and um, there we are, see what's on this one, just need to lift that a bit with a hook, just gently like that and slowly, see these bees they hardly need smoke so this is why I want to be careful with them not to upset them, we don't want to start making them angry towards humans They've drawn that out nicely. And they've drawn that out and they're filling it up with stores. Um, go down into here. Here's number three frame. Lift that up the hook gently. full of cat brood, lo lovely biscuit colour. Beautiful that. Look at that, textbook frame that is. First frame you come to and look at that, absolutely beautiful. Biscuit colour, cat brood, lovely. So that's good. There's a drone there, one or two drones. So what we're looking for, eggs we're looking for see if there's any wing virus on any of the bees which on a glance at them all I cannot see at the moment any wing virus I cannot see any chalk brood it seems to be good brood there's no chalk brood there at all so that's good news we want to look at some larvae to make sure that it's a nice ivory colour light ivory colour We don't want no bad larvae. You've got to be careful with these when you're doing this. Because see that one there? That's when you can get them upset. You can squash one, then you're in trouble. All the time you can keep them calm like this, it's okay. But when the bees start getting agitated or defensive towards you, it's a slow road down to trouble. So we look putting this into the light to see if I can see any eggs which I cannot see eggs but that doesn't necessarily mean that she's not up to laying eggs just that this on this frame of emerging she hasn't got to it nope it's just 
larvae, that one. The cat brood. And where they've emerged, she hasn't quite got to it yet. Look at this one. See, nice and gentle like that. No eggs yet, just cat brood. Hopefully, we're going to get some eggs as we go in. Nice and gently, without crushing or scraping bees. And We've got eggs in here. Great. I bet the camera can't pick them up, but I'm going to lift it up and show you. Mm -hmm. There's any eggs on this side. Yep. There's loads of eggs in here. I bet the camera won't be able to, but we'll have a go and see what happens. We'll probably go blurred. Right, in every cell there's eggs. I don't know if you can see it, but the sun is behind the camera, so you may do. Every cell has got eggs in it, hopefully you can see. But there's no queen on there, but she's been on there, hasn't she, because there's eggs. So there's all, all the chances that you'd see her on there, but... Nope, see, she's laid eggs in there, but where they've emerged... Where they've emerged just down here... She hasn't, she hasn't gone over there yet. But you see there's a lot of bees in here, so they should be able to collect honey now. It was one box, now it's two, so we've got a month for them to go out there and collect the nectar and bring it in. And they can easily do a super in that time. This was a queen I bred myself last year. In here. This is um, Hive D in the apiary. And you just go gently like that. This is where you don't want to squash bees. That did snap a little bit, but that's where you just do it gently and slowly. Try not to squash bees with your fingers and just pull it out gently. Try not to roll the bees or rub them. Go at the back side first, because say the queen, that was the dark side there, into there. So the queen could be on that side where it goes into the dark when you're doing this. So you look that side first. That is absolutely full of larvae, but it's about three or four days old. I would like to see some about five or six, seven days old. It's easier to see uh, the condition of it. But there's plenty of larvae in here, and uh, it's about Four, four or five days old for and um, it's very nice colour there's no disease in that larvae it's nice we're, we're not seeing any nasty larvae we're not seeing chalk brood we're not seeing queen cells but we're also not seeing nectar in my super so let's have a look at this one third from the end put that back a bit more just a bit of room. That one there, see, this is where you've got to be careful. You could easily, that one there is thinking about stinging. And, uh, and that's what you've got to watch. Once they start, once one stings you, lets off the pheromone and they all want to have a go. So, key to it is don't let any of them sting you. Be careful. That is full of um, pollen, this one. I'm going to show you that to the camera. Ah, it's a lovely frame of pollen. See if the queen is in here, she's not, no. Is she? No. Of course, an unusual long, it isn't a queen, but quite a longish ordinary worker bee. There, I'll show you the pollen, look at that. Look at that for pollen. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. 
Oh, it's lovely, full of pollen. Oh, it's so jammed. All different colours. Colours of the rainbow pollen there, all sorts. They've been everywhere. There's a lot of um, foraging around here uh, for the bees. Though it's on the farm, this apiary, it's close to the village and there's bushes and trees and shrubs and it's everywhere. People have got orchards and you know, it's uh, bee heaven around here really. So they should be able to get a nice lot of honey. I've been through here and I've checked all the frames and uh, the eggs in here are in the centre. All the broods in the centre, a bit like a rugby ball shape. It's going through the hive like rugby ball shape. Full of brood, full of eggs, no disease whatsoever. So I'm putting this one back now to look in through the bottom. Last one to put in is the dummy board. We'll look in the bottom one. Yeah, we don't need a lot of smoke with this side because it's very gentle. We're going to put this top box on top of the roof. There we are, it's on the roof. There we are. There's the bottom roof box. Smoke on there. See what's going on in this one. just nectar full of nectar that one you go nice and gently like that look. no smoke really being used in this we're going this way the dark side look at the dark side there's a lot of bones in here Loads of cat brood, beautiful shape of cat brood there, that is going that all round there like that, biscuit colour cat brood. Look at that, look at that, beautiful cat brood in good condition. There's no um, chalk brood in this at all, there's no wing virus, they're all good condition the wings. We've got to get to some more brew to have a look. There's no queen cells. You look through the top box, no queen cells in there. Yeah, I'm looking through the dark side first, see if the queen's there. But she isn't. Fully capped brood, well mostly fully capped. This side's got some brood that's emerged. This one looks if they if the queen's laid in it. We just move them gently away like that with your finger. Like that. Get to the sun. Get the sun in there and have a look. See if we've got any eggs. Yeah, we've got eggs in there, all right. Look, the sun's on it and you can see there. That's the trick of it. Get the sun looking into the cells and you can see the eggs and there's loads in there. That's fine. Now this one. This is where you've got to be careful. Quite a lot of um, burr comb on there. Yeah, slightly darker um, frames on this hive. On so they're about two years old. These frames, or well, maybe three now. So we do change the frames a lot. There's a couple of new frames there. Look, this is a, about a three-year-old frame. We're looking for 
that's full of eggs too and um, as they've emerged she's laid and there's all eggs and larvae in there it's not a brilliant brood pattern but it's full every single sow is either full of cat brood or eggs so it's only the pattern that's a bit wrong there but there's no gaps so it's a good queen from a sow bred last year and uh, this is probably one of my best hives in a way because you see no smoke it's gentle a lot gentle and also I did get say two frames of uh, honey off of it so it's productive and gentle it's got no disease so this queen I'm going to use next year and I'm going to breed quite a few queens from this hive because it's so good this is um Probably one of the best hives we've ever had for gentleness in a way because you don't need smoke. We're just looking through gentle like that all the time. I've got my head in the way. Uh, we're looking for anything that's untoward, any disease. Every time I can see brood, the brood is in good condition. It's nice ivory colour. This hive is, although it's going to have a lot of bees come in the next little while, it don't look like it's going to swarm. Now, get that for there, Jenny. It's going to stick to my fingers. Look, it's a populus. Populus is, um, populus has got me. I might need a little smoke now because just upset them a bit there. Now this next frame has sort of um there's no colour to the smoke but it's smoke coming out, you're all right. A little bit like that. This next frame I know is uh, a brood frame. Uh brood. Silly me. A drone frame. Because I put a plain frame in it with no foundation and they drew drones. Now, I don't mind that. I know people say, oh, it's full of grower, yeah, but we do need the drones to make the queens. And because this hive is good, I think it's good to populate a lot of drones from this hive. So queens that are going out are going to get mated by these drones. So it's full of drones. And any queen that comes in my apiary now and flies off are going to get mated with these drones with a good chance. So no drones, no mating. There you are, look, full of drones. We could easily take that out and uh, destroy the destroy the drones. But because this is such a good hive and there's no grow in it anyway much, I'm gonna leave the drones. So it'll populate all my friends that have got hives in the area they're going to get their queens mated by my nice drones mm -hmm. they? Yeah. this one is a frame I've put in to give them space and room and they haven't really drawn it out but there we are you've got to be just gentle with the queen yeah. try and get out of your way they've drawn that right out but oh yeah, there's eggs in it it's all drawn out <laughs> recently drawn out and full of eggs and a little bump then off of B hi this is not an advert it's me just saying that the camera went off after 12 minutes so I completed the hive check uh, it was great hive, um, no disease, and I put it all back together, and it was fine. But we're going to hive B now. Quite an interesting little hive for you to see. We are looking in this hive now. 
Um, I'll give them a little bit of smoke. Uh, this is um, a brood and a half, this hive. It's got a full brood there and a super there, which has made it into a brood and a half. Queen excluder here. And uh, you know, this is also quite a gentle hive. You see the bees just moving about. There's a lot of bees in here. We can have a look at this super. I'll give them a little puff of smoke to say. I can see this super's all drawn out and I can just by looking without even doing anything you can see. So what lift this one out. Can we dodge it there? This super is fully drawn out and it's got nectar three quarters of the way up, partly capped. And yeah, partly capped, three quarters filling out the nectar. This is all all cat brood, uh, cat brood, cat stores. I'm sorry, honey. We'll just do that. You see, it's nice and soft. The honey, it's um, going to be good. So, looking at this, we'll have a look at a few more. Don't have the frames up really tight to each other. There's a bit of a gap. Oh, I'll have a look through down this one. Slowly like this, very slowly. And you can see uh, it's nearly all capped actually. Right, that is um, practically all capped. Just you know, a little bit to go. It all looks about looking down in the frames. Don't want to keep disturbing this. So looking down in the frames, they all look quite similar. This one's a bit lighter. This end. Well, this one here, I can see this one's fully capped. This one is three quarters, not fully capped yet. Yeah, you can see it's got all the nectar in there, three quarters full, not fully capped. So this one's another super. I've got four weeks to go for the honey flow. So this one's a super, but I'm going to just check through the hive first before I put the super on. Super, the super doesn't weigh anything, I can put that on now actually, just for like that. These these frames, they're not drawn out you see, they're just wax foundation. But I have got one there look, that's drawn out, an old one. Put that up there in the middle. About where the nest or the eggs would be above it. And they got somewhere straight away to put the stores helps them to get up onto the next box just a little trick i learned <laughs> so i'm going to get the roof or the cover board or the crown board whatever you like to call it put that on there and i'll just take now this this super away i've got to put it on something i'll put it on a brick so i don't squash any bits that goes on the floor the roof there this is how I do it anyway. I'll get this super off. It's quite a bit of weight in that because it's quite a lot of mix in it. Put that down there. On that wick, don't squash any bees then. Get up here. Let them settle down a bit with a bit of smoke. Very gently, just take that. These um, queen excluders, I don't like them really because they get all jammed up with a comb, but there we are. Got to keep the queen out, haven't we? I've tried it without a queen excluder. These queen excluders are the best ones. The wooden ones with uh, frames with or metal. As long as it's got a bee space here. Because I've got bottom bee space. So you must have a bee space here. Then plastic ones you put on the top of the frames. You know the plastic ones you can almost give them away. They're rubbish. Squash bees. There's um, 
there's no queen on there. Leave this to one side and I'll come back to it, a lot of them bees will be gone. Then we're going to have a look in here see what's going on. We've got a dummy board here. Let me take this dummy board out. This is quite a good hive this, I hope it's down it's warm. There's no queen on there. Space now. So let's get that space when you're looking for them. Yeah, that's just stores there. Not a very good frame, but stores. That'll be okay. That, that. This is a new frame I've put in, you can see. Oh, I, I do add a lot of new frames as we go along. This one is drawn out and put, they've put stores in it. Oh, there's eggs in uh, larvae there as well, cat brood as well, cat brood and got a muesli. Look, they haven't, they've, they've drawn it out but left that bit. So, but the reason they've done that is because the one next to it is drawn out a lot, but it's filled that gap in, I'll show you. That's why you mustn't mix the frames up. You see that? They've drawn that right out and filled it with stores. So those stores fit in that gap. So you don't want to mix the frames up because that's that shows you why you shouldn't really. That's a good pronounced thing to show you you shouldn't mix frames. Look at the uh, brood on that. Cat brood. Uh, there's no disease on that cat brood. It's um, there's no chalk brood. I can't see any wing virus in this. As I'm looking at it, I'm always looking for wing virus. I'm looking for anything unusual. Um, these bees look they're quite calm, aren't they? They're not. These are. Quite, this is another good hive. This is another one of my queens. Um, this is hive B, hive C, I don't, that's a bit more tetchy, I'm going to, although it's one of my queens, I'm going to requeen that one next year because it's um, a little bit defensive that hive, but this one isn't, look, you can see, and it's collecting nectar and honey and it's not defensive, so it's the sort of hive I like, yeah, yeah it's full of eggs that is. Eggs and larvae. Probably could throw the queen on this one, I don't know. Doodly -doodly -lum. How lovely is that? Look. Look at them bees. They've, the queen's laid on all the cells that have emerged. We're coming into the real uh, centre of the brood pattern here now. This one, next one. See, you've got to watch you don't just squash them in here, the bees, when you put your fingers down. I've changed gloves to these marigolds because my others was full of propolis, but I don't like marigolds. I like the thin, the thin gloves that you can get from, you get boxes of them really thin. There we are, look. There's nothing wrong with that. Cat brood. And I can see some larvae in there, and the larvae is a nice light ivory colour. We look in this side, we're always looking to see if there's any disease anywhere, anything wrong with the bees, any nasty bits, nothing, it's all good. I think I've changed, yeah I did. Last year I put all new frames in this, in this particular one. I did a, a Bailey cone, Bailey cone change. Uh, Let's have a look here, look. There are loads of eggs in there. Larvae, well mostly larvae, I'll show you in a minute. We'll just look and see if we can see the queen. You never know your luck, you might see her, you might not, but as long as we see eggs, who cares? But it's always nice to see her, I don't know why. Look, you might be able to see the larvae in there. Full of larvae. I don't know if you can or not. The sun's a bit behind the camera, you should be able to. 
go down. There's no queen cells, is there? I would have found them by now if they swore me. Oh, that was a nasty thing to do. There's a little jerk there. Did you see that? That, and you hear the bees just because they go. They don't like that, so you've got to pull it away a bit slower than that. No jerking. Look at that, cat brood. That is textbook L. Beautiful as that. The whole frame. Look at that. Let's just see if the queen's on this side. We don't want to move it away from the hive if we've got the queen on there. Keep the queen on there. It's all right. There's no queen on there. So, okay. Just have a look at that for textbook cat brood. What a queen that is. Beautiful. I'm going to use that queen for breeding next year, definitely. It's, uh, love it, I do. I love it when I see something like that. That makes it all worth it, doesn't it? Even without getting honey, just just um, seeing how good the bees are doing is fantastic, isn't it? 